Guys, Retro Rat here. Uh, I just want to give you a little heads up. Uh, this is for Dreaming with Retro Rat episodes 2 through 4. Um, actually, no, 2 through 5. I'm sorry, because I just filmed 5. Um, I'm not going to have a counter down below on any of those videos. Uh, I just have too many uh, games I know in video 4. I showed two games that I already own, so that would have messed up my count. Um, I just unputted all the um, actual games that are on the master list that I got from Casey the Game Nerd. Uh, so, sorry for the count being uh, not available, um, but as soon as I have that available, which would be episode 6 through on, uh, because then we're narrowing down to like the last 50 or 60, it'll be more of an importance. Um, I'll definitely put that, but guys, sorry about that. Welcome guys to episode 2, Dreaming with Retro Rat. I'm your host, Retro Rat. Uh, today I got 20 more Dreamcast games to add to my collection. Like I said, from this video there on, we're going to actually do a little counter down below after showing each game. Also reached out to my brother, told him that I was going for a complete Dreamcast collection. So by the time I meet up with him, I'll probably pick up in like another 30 or 40 games off of him as well. Uh, a couple of these games, I'm going to give you a little backstory on why I wanted to do this. Um, two of my buddies recently just completed this Dreamcast collection, uh, CJR. You guys obviously know who he is, and you obviously know who Casey the Game Nerd is if you're watching my channel. Uh, two amazing guys, crazy sick collections if you've never seen or heard of either of them. Check them out, they're one of the bigger names in YouTube. They both recently completed it. Um, I've been picking up Dreamcast games here and there for the games that I wanted for my personal collection. Uh, there's about 30 or 40 Dreamcast games that I don't already own that I want to own for my collection. I was talking to my one buddy. I was about to buy uh, two of the Dreamcast games that are actually in this stack here at, while I was at the store. I was going to buy them regardless. And then I asked him, I said, hey, do you think I should go for a complete Dreamcast collection? He also has a complete collection as well. He said, go for it. It's not a huge set. He goes, but the only issue is it's like Turbo Graphics. Uh, you have your low-end budget title games that are really cheap and easy to come up by. And then everything thereafter is going to be extremely hard to find. Not a lot of people collected for the Dreamcast. Uh, it wasn't a great system that sold a bunch of games. Not meaning the system wasn't great because it didn't produce quality titles. Because there was a ton of quality titles. He meant that there was not a lot of people. Like if you walk into a flea market, you're going to find a Nintendo something. Nintendo Wii, Nintendo something, but Sega Dreamcast, you're not really finding or coming across it. So he said, as soon as you're going to get up to the higher numbers, you're going to struggle to complete it, which I knew I was going to do that, so I'm up for the challenge. We're going to jump into these 20 games right here. Uh, 4x4, Evo, Fantasy Star Online. This actually is the, I don't want to say limited edition, but this is the first print that came with the demo disc of Sonic Advance 2. Ooga Booga. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. That game was absolute garbage. Fantasy Star Online version 2. Asama uh, Amigo. Quake 3 Arena. Chicken Run. I had literally a dollar seventy-five left in credit, and that's where I picked up NFL 2K, which I knew that I probably even had an extra copy laying around, but I was like, you know what? Let me just grab it now and just be done with it. Uh Stupid Invaders, the epic adventure of five incredible stupid aliens. And these discs are in excellent condition. Uh, Gundam, the side story, 0079. If you guys remember that giant uh, Japanese lot that I got, I had like five copies of this Japanese version. Uh, the Evil Dead, Hail to the King, which is one of the games that I actually was going to be buying regardless. And the other game that I was going to be buying regardless is Record of Lotus War heard that this is actually a really good game, so when I get around to playing it, I wanted to make sure I had it. Uh, Speed Devils. Hidden and Dangerous, another really garbage uh, Dreamcast title. Arrow Wings, nowhere near as good as Air Force Delta. Uh, Striker Pro 2000. Some of these, if you notice, like Striker Pro 2000, I've never seen it before, and it's part of the cheap title package. Uh, Toy Commander, again, another cheap, another cheap title that I never even knew existed, Iron Aces, and the last Dreamcast game of this video is going to be Soul Fighters. 
guys, thanks for watching in the comments down below. Let me know what you actually have recently picked up uh, for any Sega product. Put in the comments down below, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.